Land of the Lost Sock is certainly a very interesting episode of Mickey Mouse Funhouse and this is a lot more heartfelt than I expected it to be. And I'll talk more about that with a slight spoiler warning in a moment. But it starts off with the Sensational Six playing hide and seek and Goofy seems to have hidden. They're trying to find him and then it turns out that Goofy has actually lost one of his socks. He's lost Letty which is the name of his left sock. And it just so happens that it's one of his favourite pairs of socks, so he's a little bit heartbroken. So the gang decide to all help him out and try and find this sock. And Funny takes them to the land of the lost socks, which is apparently a place where missing socks go. Now, straight away, that answers the question of where do missing socks go? Because you put them in the washing machine, you bring out all of the washing, one of the socks is missing. It seems to happen a lot. And it's nice that they're presenting an answer for this. And when they're there, they get to interact with all these different socks. And I like the socks moving. I thought the socks moving around worked very well. The animation was really good. But I didn't like the fact that the sock had a voice. I say a voice, it made a noise. And that just felt really jarring. There was something about that that just did not work for me. Giving this sock a kind of squeak. I just didn't like it. I would have preferred it if they would, you know, silently nod and shake its head if a sock has a head. So that aspect of it was quite interesting, definitely very unique, a very unique animation. The message in it is that sometimes you need to let things go. Sometimes it's important to let things you love go. And Goofy realises that Lefty, this is a spoiler now, I'm going to explain what happens at the end, spoiler warning. Goofy realises that Lefty is actually very, very happy there. And one of my favourite quotes, actually, Daisy says something along the lines of, I don't want to leave and I'm not even a sock. And I just found that to be very amusing. Um, Goofy realises that Lefty is actually very happy there and he wants to stay. And he has to come to terms with the fact that it's time to say goodbye to something that he loves. And there are two ways of interpreting that for the young viewer. Sometimes young children do have to say goodbye to things that they love, whether that's something, you know, significant, like the loss of a a loved, re a loved one, a relative, a pet, or even if it's just, you know, sometimes a toy is broken and it's time to put it in the bin. And there's also the fact that they may lose things and it can be very distressing and upsetting when you lose something, particularly if it is your favourite sock, for example, then it will help the young viewer to come to terms with the fact that sometimes we will lose things and we just have to say goodbye to them. We can't find them. So I think it's a really nice heartfelt message that children will be able to relate to and will help them to come to terms with various things. It's definitely a very fun way of presenting that message. The sock, the way it was animated, I thought looked pretty great. The movements of the sock was great. The voice of it, not so much. But generally speaking, Land of the Lost Socks was a lot more moving and emotional than I ever expected it to be. It's definitely a really strong segment from Mickey Mouse Funhouse.